Hi, this is Anne with Fiber Designs by Anne, and today I'm going to show you how I paint on cheesecloth, uh, it could be gauze, uh, feather. And I use these in some of my mixed media and my art quilt pieces. This happens to be an osprey feather. This, I think, is from an owl. The things that you'll need for this project are a surface that you can paint on, and it needs to be plastic, contact paper, something that the is more waterproof than regular paper. You'll need some cheesecloth and this is a kind of a cream color but you could use bleached white would be fine as well. You'll need some water. I like to have it in a spray bottle and I'll be using raw umber textile color by Jacquard. You'll need a little container for mixing the paint, something to scoop the paint out with. A paintbrush. I like to use a point round with a nice firm point on it paper towel for any little messes, um, scissors that you can cut your cheesecloth with. We'll begin by deciding how big we want the feathers and I cut a strip from my cheesecloth and then that was about four inches wide and I'm going to make my feather what, what would have been a quarter of that piece. You're going to take your scissors and cut a little bit exaggerated feather shape, a little bit larger than you want your feather to be in the end. So that the stem is about half of an inch or so. The stem which would be the quill. And we'll put a little bit of the paint. This is textile, jacquard textile color paint. And it only takes a little bit. I put a little paint, a little water other near the paint. And spray on the feather. This is why you want it to be on a surface that's waterproof. This way it will somewhat adhere, but it won't, when I get finished and I peel it off, it won't take the back, backing up with it. I like to do a little wash, <coughs> excuse me, a little wash of the color on one side of the feather. This is a new brush and it's firmer than I'm used to, so I'm going to grab my other brush really quick. That's a little softer. And I'm just doing a wash on one side of the cheesecloth because I like it kind of gives a piece a little more depth that looks like that might be light shining on one side and it doesn't, you don't have to do this. And if your piece is white, you may want to give it a little wash on, on the entire piece. Then I'm going to take the color pretty full strength up, let me slide this down a little, near the top. And you can look at, look at your feather or look at a picture for a little example. And this is a fiber, it doesn't have to be perfect. And I'm giving it, it can go almost straight across with the color from the center line out. Because when I get finished and it's dry, I'm going to, or before it dries, I'm going to give it a pull, a tug, that will create the little waves that you have going on here in the real feather. I make the paint heavier toward the center and bring it out. And you could take and draw a line if you don't intend to sew this. I will be sewing on mine, giving stitches to make the design so I do not usually put a line down the center of the piece. And it's just that very simple. Just from the center out. Then when you have it the way you like the lines and the design, I hold one end of the feather and I give it a tug. And things will happen depending on your surface. and you can bend it to create the lines 
any way you want them to go and it'll still be flexible when it's dry and then I come down here and I hold the very bottom and I give that bottom a twist so that I'm creating a quill so to speak. Now I'm going to let this totally dry on the surface and when it does it may stick to it but again because it's a plasticky surface I'll be able to peel it off so I'll let that dry and then it will come back. Okay I'm back and it's pretty much dry and I'll peel it off depending on how dry it is it might be a little harder to peel off then I like to take it and unravel it just at the very bottom just to make it look a little more feathery So now you can see how easy and quick it is to make these little cheesecloth feathers. And here are a couple pieces that I've included them in. One is an art quilt, the other is a photo and fiber mixed media art quilt. I hope you'll try this technique. This is Anne. Thanks for watching.